Okay, welcome to Art Connection. Well, it's time once again for this year's Artist Studio Tour, where on September 10th and 11th, we get to tour the workspaces of a various bunch of local artists. Let's go take a look. Well, here we are with Nancy and Anita. Nancy's the director of the PV Art Center's two galleries, and Nan uh, Anita's one of the artists here. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the uh, galleries and everything that's going on right now? Well, the galleries have been in existence for about 25 years. We have approximately 60 artists, and our artists live in LA County and Orange County, and we even have one member that has moved to Arizona, but she's still a member of our gallery. And we have a complete assortment of artists. We have lots of painters, potters, jewelers, glass people, sculptors, um, just a lot of different media. And uh, all of our members are members of the Art Center, naturally. And all of them have been juried into one of these two galleries. And we do the jurying four times a year. So if anybody would like to apply, uh, we'd be happy to entertain more uh, members. Oh, I forgot to mention we also have fiber people. We do beautiful clothing. So the fiber people are a very important part of our two galleries. Uh, we have two galleries in this particular location in this mall because the Art Center has closed for about a year. So we were very fortunate to have some space available to us. We wanted to talk a little bit about some of your paintings here. I know you do animal paintings I mm -hmm. see. I, I know you sold a tiger painting last I year did. so tell us a little bit about your art. Well it's going to be up here in the gallery until July the 30th it comes down and this time I have some dogs and horses and wolves. Wolves are my latest thing. <laughs> well it's a lot of fun and very beautiful so anyone can come on down to either of the galleries and see the various artists. I mean it's not just like you said it's not just art on the wall it's art you wear and art you interact with which is something very cool and very fun. And I think these are all Anita's pieces behind oh. us here. Yes they are. <laughs> all right well thank you very much ladies. I'm standing here with Carrie, and she's going to tell us a little bit about some of the wearable art, or fiber art, as they call it here, in the uh, the other gallery that they've opened temporarily. So, please tell us. We yes, we are down at the village, and uh, we're at the far end by the the library. And uh, I'm a fiber artist, and this is one of my pieces. This is Italian linen, and uh, I um, I love to make patterns and work with uh, fine quality fabrics. Uh, we have other artists, for instance, Don Quinones here. This piece started off as a pure white piece of silk. Wow. And uh, she takes it all the way. She designs her, her patterns, and this is what she comes out with. She paints it. It's, it's amazing. Um, this is, uh, let me see. Uh, Justine Lupus Parish. She um, does a hand pleated and baked fabric and paints on it. Uh, of course, <laughs> that's not the way it's it's described really. But uh, it, this stuff is wonderful. It's it's unusual, and you can wash it, dry it, take it on a trip. It, it's just so versatile. Plus, as you can see, it makes a wonderful mother of the bride, mother of the groom ensemble, and uh, she does wedding dresses, she does amazing things with this fabric. This is another one of her pieces. And again, totally washable, uh, dryable, and packable. And then on a whole different feeling is Anne Sheik, who does these wonderful pieces out of sweatshirts. She recycles sweatshirts. There's not one ounce of waste. She cuts them up. I don't know how many sweatshirts are in each piece. And then she paints it. She paints the whole thing. This, this is just mind-boggling. Sweatshirts. 
Talk about really going green here. <laughs> Wow, so this is such a wonderful place to come and get unique, one-of-a-kind clothing. Very. You can't really find this. You're not going to have a mass store chain type of a thing. This no. is something. Well, they're, they're art pieces. That's what, uh, that's what the fiber art is, just like any other art, art pieces and one-of-a-kind so that you're not going to see yourself uh, you know, walking down the street. Here in this gallery, we also have a, a large display of ceramics, um, jewelry. We have lots and lots of jewelry. And Nancy's going to talk a little bit about the different jewelry people uh, and also our paintings. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fantastic gallery. Okay, Nancy, in addition to the, uh, you know, the fiber art, with some of the other wearable art is the jewelry that you have here in the gallery. Can you uh, guide us through this? Certainly. We have quite a few jewelry artists, and we work in many different forms of jewelry. Uh, predominantly, I think you would say that most of the jewelers work with semi-precious stones and with pearls. But we also have some jewelers that do some unique things, like this piece, which is polymer clay, which is very unique. You're not going to find that hardly ever anywhere else. We have. Jewelers that work with silver, but these are two different kinds of silver. Frances works with sterling, and she makes these beautiful pendants, and she makes earrings and bracelets. This is another form of silver, but this is a clay silver that one of our Vicky makes. So you can see that between the two different kinds of silvers, the polymer, the semi-precious, the pearls. Also, we work with things from nature, like corals and seashells, that we have quite a variety of jewelry here. And by the way, if you are a member of the Art Center, you get 10% off on any jewelry that you would buy, or any fibers, or any of the other beautiful things that we have talked about on this tour. And just as an aside, I think it might be interesting for you to know that our jewelers are not only juried, but they come from many different walks of life. Uh, like, for example, Paul over here was a surgeon, and he has retired. And then we have others, like Don, who's a painter, who was a, um, a lawyer at one time. We have some retired realtors. And we have people from all walks of life that love to make jewelry and that love in general to express their creative talents in one way or another. So we really are looking forward to meeting you, hoping that you will come. We would love for you to meet our artists. We would love for you to see them at work. Some of them will be demonstrating that day. And you will see their homes. So here we are at Gillen's house, who is one of the artists on the studio tour. And this is a little bit of a taste of what you're going to expect when you come on the artist tour and see her studio. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Come on in. I'm, I'm great. In. Thank you. All right. So if you wouldn't mind, please show us your studio and your beautiful okay. home. My whole house is my studio because I have paintings all over the house, mm -hmm. some that are mine, and some are paintings that I've bought from other artists. So welcome. All right, so these ones behind, are these ones yours? This is mine, this is one. This is a, a painting um, from Copenhagen. And I love the big barge, so I took a, a photo and I did that in my studio. And here's where the actual magic yes, happens. The studio. And um, this is where I work. I have, this is my work table with my brushes and all of my paint. It's, it's small, but it's very efficient. Mm -hmm. And I spend a lot of time here. I have my computer so I could take photos and work out of the photos and um, that's so it. How, how much time do you, would you say that you spend on an average painting? Well, when people ask me that, yeah. I usually say about 35 years, <laughs> but actually it depends because sometimes I will start one and then I will let it rest for a while and I'll go back, observe it, see how I want to develop it. So it's a, it's a hard question. Um, when you go outdoors, I could do a painting in 
three hours, a small painting. Mm -hmm. But for larger work, it uh, takes longer time, of course. Of and, course. Yeah. Right. And what mediums do you work in? I only work in oil and um, drawing. I always draw before I paint. So I have drawings of all of my paintings. Now, would you mind showing us a few of the tools that you use when during your uh, oil sure. painting? I have, this is actually my palette. And um, I have nothing laid down here, but usually I will put all of my paint and I will mix my paint on that palette. I have all of my paints in these drawers. I use brushes, palette knives, and um, canvases. I um, always have a drawing book because I take all of, for every painting that I do, I will do a drawing. Lay out the composition. That's to lay out the composition because the composition is really important. Well, uh, and what do you say, what would you say is your favorite thing about creating art and painting? I think that you start with an idea that you have, you visualize the painting that you will do, but along the way changes happen. And I think that's where your creativity comes into play. Mm -hmm. Like if I have a photo, I look at the composition, I look at the colors, and I will improve on the colors if I feel it needs to. I will improve on the composition, the edges, and the whole thing that goes with painting. Now, I've noticed your style is obviously not photorealism. It's more of an impressionistic type of... A, uh, a style and why do you choose to uh, depict your scenes that way? Um, it's just part of me. It's your soul that comes out. It just happens. This is what you like to do and that's what you do. Some people like to do abstract. I like to do, it's like a modern impressionist 